Yes, Jamie, a, a bit of irony there, all right. This is the missing piece to the coalition puzzle that Pedro Sanchez needed. The deal itself means an amnesty for Carles Puigdemont, the leader of the Junts Catalan party. He and the other architects of the 2017 independence, uh, the illegal independence referendum, will now be allowed to return to Spain without facing charges of sedition or anything else for that matter. Uh, as a result, of that, it means that they will support Pedro Sanchez, another four-year mandate. We should see that happen next week, in the middle of the week, Wednesday or Thursday, a vote in Congress right here behind me. It's been over three months since the general elections on the 23rd of July, inconclusive general elections. Now, of course, as a result of this deal, it means that we've seen a lot of anger, a lot of fury on the right side of Spain's deep political divide. We've seen words used like humiliation. Uh, they're calling Sanchez a traitor. They're saying he sold his soul and Spain along with it. One conservative politician today said that this was uh, at the beginning of a dictatorship. Sanchez says that he has the support 80% of uh, people in Catalonia support this deal and really it's a big victory for Sanchez when you look at it, proving his uh, political survival instincts once more. So likely that we will have a government here in Spain, a socialist-led government with Pedro Sanchez as Prime Minister for another four years, confirmed next Wednesday or Thursday, Jamie.